Tommy Retro here with another video. Just want to make sure everyone knows that yes, I am alive and well. I apologize, it's been a while since my last video. Been super busy, uh, a whole bunch of uh, pickups this summer. Uh, just uh, seems like it's been one right after another as far as uh, good deals coming up, opportunities to preserve uh, vintage buses. And so I've spent a, a lot of June and July uh, traveling the Midwest and picking up vintage buses and getting them here so they're in the collection uh, for preservation and eventually restoration. So if we take a quick look here, you can see the fleet has definitely expanded. The, uh, the sun came out, so we're getting a little bit of a glare there. But... Uh, you see some new stuff and I have footage to do pickup videos on most everything so I just wanted to do a quick update just kind of show you some of the new buses that are in the collection and then as I have time I will put together the footage to um, you know to do a pickup video for each one but uh, here's just a little walk through of what I've got parked outside at this time so like I say I've got quite a bit of footage to uh, to put together some videos so my video today and what I'm leading into is a pickup video for a 1982 bluebird that was the uh, the bus that I just showed at the beginning here but uh, here's a couple CV 200s these are for sale or they're going to be for sale I just picked them up locally here I'm going through them um, they're 2002 CV 200s they got 454s in them with uh, uh, automatic transmissions they fly about 75 miles per hour no problem um, this bus is good to go this one in front of it has air conditioning but I've got a brake line to replace and the fuel the fuel lines on the top of the tank started leaking so I've got to work on that and I've got another uh, Chevy cutaway I think it's about a 2000 Chevy cutaway to pick up as well but like I say those two buses I do want to eventually get a CV 200 but those will be for sale I'll strip the the lettering off the sides and those will be for sale shortly but just want to do a quick update to what I've been doing a uh, bunch of pickups you know the way I look at it is time is ticking it's going to be harder and harder to find vintage buses especially from the 80s uh, coming out of service, you know, we're, you know, 89 was uh, 30 years ago, so, you know, it kind of puts it into perspective. So, um, you've all seen the video on the the 83 Wayne, the blue bus in the back there, but uh, here's a new unit, or a new bus in the collection. Uh, this is a 88 Ford B700 Wayne. So we'll do a pickup video on that. And then in front of it is an 89 Ward. It's a GMC. So again, we'll get to that one. I've got footage on that. And then we got this big boy right here. 1971 Crown. So uh, again, more footage, more footage than I have time. So just want to give you an update with the collection. You all remember the the band bus, uh, the 84. I borrowed the carburetor off it to pick up the bus that I'm going to show you the video on today, or the pickup video, which is right here, the 1982 Chevy Bluebird. It is a 65 passenger bus, got a 366 in it, um, just like the video 
that you saw. This was my last pickup video. Was this 85 Chevy Bluebird? It's got a 366 as well. So same engine. It's got the old clip. So 1983 was the last year for this style. This is an 82. But uh, this is an interesting bus because it's from uh, Minnesota. So it's Minnesota spec. We picked it up in St. Cloud. So it's got an extra rub rail which makes it look different. And I'll do another video with it pulled out and um, and you'll see that, but you'll see that in the uh, in the clips I have from the trip. But uh, but you can see it's got no uh, no lower glass in the emergency door it makes that kind of you know kind of rare. And uh, you can see the difference in the width of the emergency door between that and the 85. The 85 was the first year that they widened the emergency door, so you can see the difference there. And actually here you get a good shot of that additional rub rail. They call them snow rails for uh, knocking into snow drifts and stuff like that. But uh, for a Minnesota area bus, so it was uh, from St. Cloud, which is just north of Minneapolis, it's pretty clean. It's got some rust going on behind the, you know, the rear uh, fender wells or wheel wells and uh, right up here in the front fenders but the interior on this bus is remarkably clean so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some clips of the the acquisition and the pickup and then I'll be back Tommy Retro on location in Monticello Minnesota pick up the bus yesterday had to do a ton of maintenance on it changed the oil greased everything filled the Rear differential, check the oil in the trans, it was good. Um, just went through everything, get it ready for the trip. Drove it uh, about 45 minutes yesterday to this location. We're about 30 miles south of uh, where we picked the bus up, up in uh, St. Cloud. So, uh, so it ran out pretty good, it's got good power. Slow bus, so geared very low. Best I can get out of it is 55. So I'm going to take uh, two lane blacktops all the way home um, and take her slow. So just getting her cranked up. I just uh, I've got a blown hub seal on the back, so I just filled the differential with a quart of 90 weight. It's got drums all the way around. Knows they were getting hot yesterday. Uh, but they seem to be all right after I shut the bus down. So hopefully it just uh, is wearing some rust off of the drums or something. But uh, kind of cool bus. It's got the narrow emergency door, no lower glass. Winter package, or I should say snow package with the snow rub rails. But uh, like I say, just getting cranked up here over at the Super 8 in Monticello, Minnesota. We're gonna get underway. Our uh, next stop is gonna be the lacrosse area. It should take us about four hours to get there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the bus cranked up. All right, the bus is cranked up. I got the throttle set out a little bit so she can warm up. 366. Looks like my uh, power steering pumps shaking around quite a bit maybe the pulleys out around or something not really sure what's going on there I'll have to check it out I'll shut it down see if it's loose or something but she runs out pretty darn nice You can say I got that blown hub seal right there, so I'm watching that close. Keeping her full of oil. She's a little rusty being a northern bus, but not too bad. Interior is remarkably clean. 
All right, I'm gonna check out that power steering pump, see if there's something loose on it, and then we'll be rolling. Tommy Retro here, on our way back from St. Cloud, Minnesota. We're just coming out of Winona and uh, about to cross the Mississippi. So here's the story, this bus is geared for the hills and it tops out about 55 miles per hour. So we're not doing the interstate this trip. We're doing two lane blacktop. Cruising old school. So we're gonna go see a, a fellow bus collector. We're about an hour away. We're way behind schedule, but that's just the way it is. But we're happy we get to uh, stop in and see him today. Catch up a little bit. But uh, sit back and enjoy the ride. Sweetie, there's a section missing. It's an old bridge and they dismantled part of it.
bridge down there, Sweet Pea? you enjoyed those clips it was an absolute blast as usual um, getting this bus home two-lane blacktop all the way uh, max speed 55 miles per hour and uh, got to see a lot of sights meet a lot of really good people and uh, and like I said just had a great time and that's been the the theme uh, with all of these buses all these pickups uh, just great people that we've been able to meet along the way um, we've been absolutely fortunate as far as uh, mechanical condition and getting the buses roadworthy and getting them home without a breakdown so anytime you can get a bus home without a major breakdown you are having an, uh, a huge a huge success so super happy about that and uh, we've had a great stretch of good luck and I really hope that continues uh, but uh, but absolutely had a great time so um, wouldn't change it for the world and I can't wait till we do some more but uh, let's take a look inside you see this has got the mint green bluebird interior which they stopped doing that in the early 80s I do believe as an option um, not really sure when but uh, but I know this kind of went away in the uh, early to mid 80s but I think this is an absolutely beautiful bus when I went to look at this in uh, in winter it was uh, uh, I just couldn't believe it when uh, when I opened the door and got in it and it was like wow you know the outside was showing some rust but this interior is so super clean it's uh, it's like a time capsule I got lucky in the church that had this stored it inside so the paint isn't even really faded on it the exterior paint but uh, 
but I would say out of all my buses this one is absolutely the most immaculate inside they kept it up really well but uh, 366 got a five speed no split rear end geared geared for the city geared for the hills 55 mile per hour max hit a lot of hills on the way back and uh, it, uh, it it really handled them perfectly so uh, so like I said just a nice run of bus and uh, and you can climb anything with it uh, it really ran out perfect but uh, this one I got to change a hub seal on I got a leaking hub seal and um, I just got to go through the brakes I got some spongy brakes I got to chase some air out of the lines I had uh, um, I had some uh, some issues where I needed to bleed them and some bleeder screw screws were uh, froze when I was out on scene and uh, I bled what I could got enough brakes to get it back but I've got to take it through the shop process and uh, finish all that up so just like anything else it's got its list and we'll get there we'll chip away at this stuff and uh, and get it going but I feel really good about this we got a nice representation of Bluebird in the uh, the different the different eras or the, at least the change that occurred with their with their body um, stylings and and things in the 80s but I uh, hope you enjoyed this video there's many to come and uh, I'll get those out as time allows but uh, as always I appreciate everyone watching I hope you have a good rest of your day or night